I actually have one question about a work in the collection. I, I love how you describe how an idea comes to you and then through a variety of process it sort of gets out there in the world through communication or, or otherwise. And, and disappearing music for face. I'm wondering if you could talk a little bit how that came about in terms of the film and then eventually the photographs that were made, how that became concrete in a way, if you could talk about how that yes. collaboration came out. Mm -hmm. Well, uh, the moment when I had this idea of disappearing music for face, at that time I thought I had the concept of uh, uh, the duration itself is equ equivalent to music, and anything could be become music if it changes. So the movement of crowd or rattling of uh, tree leaves. And one day I met a girl in my neighbor. Uh, that little girl was very cute. And we greeted each other, hi. And she smiled with very beautiful smile. And then after a while, her smile disappeared very slowly. I noticed that that change was like beautiful music. Yeah. Uh, seeing her face, I was listening some kind of music. So I composed this appearing music for face. And I sent it to George and he printed. And after coming back to Japan, uh, George wrote to me and he he tried to make the film out of this music and the performer would be Yoko Ono and Peter Mura took the video and he uh, changed it to the flip book. So it was entirely George's idea. He was very good at making lots of edition out of uh, the simple idea of the artist. So I had no, I didn't work anything about film or flip book. It's George's idea. Another work that I've always been curious about is Endless Box mm -hmm. Fox's edition. And um, I think you were earlier referring to corresponding with George before you went and then you described mm -hmm. working on mm -hmm. Endless Spots. Mm -hmm. And is there a prototype that you created? Like the very first model? Model? Yeah, that became the edition later? Or what? Oh, yes, I uh, originally, uh, uh, George's, not George's edition, it's uh, all Endless, Endless Box exists in the world, is all I made. Right. Yes. And uh, it was a uh, uh, visual dominion. When you open the box and box, the box itself becomes smaller and smaller. It was like disappearing the sound. So I meant it a uh, visual dominion. So the box itself is an object, but it includes a uh, musical concept. <coughs> and then you also talked about how at some point you um, were tired of sounds. That's which is right. Why you also moved on to language, and, and and at some point you came back to music. And you were earlier today referring to, you know, these composition commissions yes, that you that's are right. working yes, on yes. right mm -hmm. now. So well, after finishing the series of uh, special poem and published a book, uh, suddenly the sound came back to me and started composing. You know, my work changes, a shift, I mean, between music composition and visual works or other works. Like, uh, do you know Yajiro Bei? It's a Japanese mm -hmm. wooden door mm -hmm. who sway right way mm -hmm. or left way, mm -hmm. like that door, I always sway from music to visual art, well, probably 
the cycle of several years or so. I worked on the musical composition from 78 to say about 90 and in 1990 I was in, invited to take part in the Fluxus Festival in Venezia and I met a lot of Fluxus friends after 25 years so the communication resumed. Then I was invited to take part in other festival or group uh, exhibition and especially the edition from that mark asked, asked me to publish something with him. So I started making uh, object or object poems, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. visual poetry, mm -hmm. that type of object things. Mm -hmm. Then return to music for a while <laughs> and you know, I'm singing and in both ways. It keeps me fresh. When I return to music, oh, sound is how beautiful the sound is. And after a while, I get tired of sound, and I can enjoy the very quiet work on visual things. Great. Well, thank you so very much. This is just absolutely <laughs> wonderful and so informative, and you have helped us so much to enhance our understanding of your work and of the period. So we are very grateful to you. Oh, I'm thank sorry with my, you know, poor English. Your yeah. English is excellent. <laughs> excellent. And you speak so beautifully about your work and no. experience. It was a real treat. Thank you. Thank you very much.